Um, today we are looking at the Wolf Cybertron Wave 2 Deluxes and Voyagers and, Displ and a Spoiler thing from the, um, for Fan First Friday. I'll do Selects and Earthrise at a later date, but first let's start with the Wolf Cybertron Deluxes. Here, um, first up we have is Elite 1. This looks like an Elite 1 figure. Which is awesome. She is a retool slash repaint of RC from Earthrise Wave 2. And ha different head, and I think that's about it. Vehicle mode is basically Earthrise RC, just different color, nothing much to talk about there. But this is a figure I'm definitely picking up. Mostly to replace Powder Prime's Alita, but uh, hey, I love Alita 1. Next up here, Wheeljack. This is a good figure, but my copy of Earthrise Wheeljack isn't that good for me personally. At least the first one wasn't. The second one is much better. Yeah, I bought two. What are you going to do about it? But let me get the figure. I have it right next to me right now. Honestly, I prefer the way the original looks personally, but... Hey, I might get the second one, because why not? Never go wrong with getting many wheeljacks. Hey, what you gonna do? The vehicle mode looks pretty sweet. Honestly, I'd get it if it was just a model car. But hey, robot mode looks cool, vehicle mode looks good. Red or second laziest figure in the thing, in my opinion, but if I do end up getting it, then Shagglass Sideswipe might come. Who knows? Not much to talk about besides their red shoulders and crap. Impactor. Now, this is a character I love. I love him to death. I will kill for him. I have the original release. And no, I am not gay for Impactor. He's just a badass. Look at his vehicle mode. The weatherin fits perfectly. Commander of the Wreckers. Impactor. Great character. And oh my god, this toy does some, some justice. He's been needing some proper figures for a long time. And he's finally got some proper figures now with the Siege Fit line. And now with this... Oh my god, it looks amazing. I have the original mold, and oh my god, it is a good figure. If you didn't get that, definitely pick this up. It is amazing. And the last deluxe is Bumblebee. It's Bumblebee, what do you expect? He's a Volkswagen Beetle, like G1. You can tell from the head, G1 Bumblebee. Become the Glutron's Bazooka for some reason, but with the weapons pack... I'm just going to get pistols. And he has a shield. And I'm not going to use the shield for anything. I don't know. I understand why he has a shield, but it doesn't suit Bumblebee in my opinion. I'm just going to leave it on his back and give him Blaze Master since I have that. Yeah, I have the original Legends size Bumblebee with Blaze Master. The vehicle mode. Oh my god, that looks so gorgeous. Look at that car. Oh my god, I love that. This figure looks amazing to me. This screams Bumblebee to me. This is what I've been wanting for a Generation 1 style of Bumblebee. I did not get Time's Return. The closest thing I have to a G1 Bumblebee is Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Bumblebee. This is definitely replacing it on my chug shelf. Now for the Voyagers. The lazy one. First. Optimus Prime. It's Earthrise Optimus, but a Voyager and different head. He doesn't even come with the trailer or anything. It just comes with the blaster. And the, the truck is just a truck. He comes with these to emulate the G1 axe, I guess, and a shield, but well, in fact, you're getting a proper axe for him, so what's the point? I can only see people getting this if they skipped Earthrise Optimus, which how could you? That figure is amazing. I have it. I love it. Now, here's the best Voyager. Strong Wave, Superior, Autobots, Inferior. 
This is amazing. This doesn't have the kibble siege one does. And look at that. Transforms into a boombox or cassette player. Whatever the hell you want to call it. It looks amazing. Just wow. I can see this flying off the shelves really fast. And honestly, it did. Bombay and Soundwave are already out of stock on pre-orders. I already got a Rita on pre-order with some other figures that I wanted. So, happy hunting for all these figures. And then, he comes with a little Ravage and Laser Beak. Now, I got all three of them in the original Siege, which might mean I might pass them up, but I definitely want them. And I'll customize the original ones into Shadow Glass if I get all these. Because these look much better, in my opinion. And Sandra can hold both of the cassettes, which is nice. Lastly, we have is the spoiler pack. Now, let's just say, because we only see a box, but I'm assuming it's going to have, like, Ultra Madness, a leader class, um, a battle master, a, and some gray clay thing with stuff inside it. So, I think that the leader class, because if you type this, it says Giza, and 